Let's now get you started on that conversation that we promised you earlier on. And there's only one question at the center of our conversation today. And the question is, what do men really want? Let's put it into perspective with a fantastic lineup of panelists that we've lined up for you this morning. Uh, joining me in studio this morning, a very, the very fantastic, uh, the legend himself, Ian Bogo. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> we all know you as judge, but it's fine. I'll, I'll say that other than the way you, all of you know him, he's actually a teacher and an artist. So good morning and welcome. Good to the morning, show. Asante. Kaleche. Good morning. Karibu sana. Nice to it's be back. It's been a minute. Yes. Welcome back. Thank you very much. Kaleche Mumo, she's the CEO of KM Network. Welcome back. And also joining us this morning is John Canyoni. She is a masculinity mentor. Good morning, John. I'll be very much interested to know what exactly it means to be a masculinity mentor. Good morning and welcome to the show. Good morning. We'll engage. <laughs> <laughs> Looking forward to this. But really, even to start us off, how did we get here to a point where we are asking ourselves what men want? And I'd like to start with you, Kalej. I think we got here because half the time, you know, as women, we think... They, they, they are clear about what they want for mm -hmm. one minute, and the next minute you're like, what just happened there? So sometimes we're not sure what they want beyond, they say, perhaps respect, perhaps peace. Mm -hmm. But what are they doing to get the respect, to get the peace? Mm -hmm. That's where the confusion comes in, and that's how we got here, where we're like, okay, really, what do you want? Do you guys even know what you want yourselves? So I'm excited wow. to ask <laughs> Ian and John, do you really know what you want? Oh, should I respond to that? Ah, yeah, absolutely, Victor. You're in that loop, too. <laughs> <laughs> Let me allow Ian and John to, first of all, give us the introductory remarks. Ian. Like you said, respect. Mm. Respect is the first thing that a man wants. Mm. And once he gets that, all other things fall into places. Okay. Yes. So what is respect? Respect is you <laughs> knowing <laughs> my position mm -hmm. as the head of the family. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean that I'm the one who's providing everything. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean that I'm the one who's making all the decisions. Right. No. Right. It's collaborative. Mm -hmm but you need to respect me as the head of the family. Okay. Good people. This is becoming one great conversation, but let me allow John to just first of all. <laughs> wow, I like it. Uh, it's, it's true what Victor has said, respect. Mm -hmm. Ian, yeah. And what is happening now mm -hmm. is times have changed. Mm -hmm. And the men feel threatened. And they are being feeling threatened because of the women's behavior today. Mm -hmm. And if you look at it, we can have a clear cut of 70s and below and then 70s and after. These issues were not the same. We would not be talking the same thing that we are talking today. Mm -hmm. So it comes down to there is an empowered woman. Mm -hmm. And therefore the man feels threatened. Other than feeling threatened, mm -hmm. that empowerment by the woman or of the woman, mm -hmm. she also feels now that she doesn't have to respect the man. Mm -hmm. A number of things that I've heard from the women mm -hmm. is I am providing mm -hmm. much more even than he is doing it. Mm -hmm. Why should I therefore respect him? Okay. Yeah. Let's take a step back a bit. Was this easier back in the day? In the time of our parents and our grandparents? Slightly easier mm -hmm. in this sense. Mm -hmm. uh, during that time, I would say one of the things, and uh, Kaleche will uh, agree or disagree. You will with sure. You, you will one sure. of the things women, <laughs> women would want mm -hmm. is security and continuity. Mm -hmm. Are they assured of their security? And continue them to. and their children. Mm -hmm. By the way, when it comes yeah. to that, mm -hmm. the children are not ours. Mm -hmm. yeah. They say me and my children. Mm -hmm. They don't say our children. <laughs> so that one now goes by that security. In the older days, security would have been there, was there, because a woman is married and there's a shamba somewhere. Mm -hmm. There is a clan somewhere that gives direction and makes sure that you will never be divorced. And if it is divorced, or whatever, yeah. there are several Step. ways, mm -hmm. steps of doing it. It makes it difficult. Mm -hmm. Today, now, most of us, most of us men, have very little property. So when the woman looks at the continuity, 
and looks at my behavior today, she feels threatened. Mm -hmm. And therefore, she tries now to look for other coping ways mm -hmm. to fill up that problem, to assure, to make sure that she will be secure in years to come. Okay. So Can it was easier at that time. Yeah. Today, it is not. Because other than maybe my rented house for most of us, mm -hmm. what else do I have? Mm -hmm. So the woman, and even that rented house, sometimes I'm having problems paying the rent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Many a times they're almost doing, being thrown off. So they react. <laughs> okay. So okay. when they react, now this has brought up this. Kalechi. Yeah. I think, um, true, back in the day, it uh, seemingly was easier. Mm -hmm. One, because the, the information, the knowledge that we have today our parents and our grandparents didn't have as much and there was much less to deal with and contend with as you lived your life day to day mm -hmm. right because as uh, John has said rightfully it was about do I have land to till so that I can feed my children and I am secure that I'm not going to be thrown out because there's a community that is guarding that mm -hmm. now fast forward to today we have been pushed to go get educated. We have learned more things. Life has become more complex. The more information you get, the more complex life becomes. And in those complexities, then we find ourselves now asking for more, right? Mm -hmm. And that asking for more is mm -hmm. the place where we have found a friction because, um, <laughs> yes, when Ian says respect should be, um, be given despite the circumstances, whether I'm paying the rent, he's paying the rent, and all that, it's true. However, the question we all are looking to have answered is, are they the leaders who deserve the respect? Wow. Are you able to lead right? Because you will be respected if you're leading right. Mm -hmm. So the leadership is what will determine whether you will get that respect that leads to the peace, yeah. that leads to the happy home and happy marriage. There's a kachin, in my opinion. Ian, I'm sure you want to respond, but before you do that, allow me to be a bit controversial on this. Can we say that during our parents' time, because women were less empowered, everything was being brought on the table by the man, mm -hmm. women were much more or less bound to be, to stay here. I'm almost saying that we men used to govern <laughs> by fear or something. But now that women have more options, they yeah. have jobs, they, you, I mean, we can part ways and I'll still be on my own, mm -hmm. we are losing that bit of stability as men, Ian. We, we aren't really losing it. Uh -huh. Okay, the woman is now really empowered. Yeah. She knows a lot more, and she feels that she deserves a lot more. more. But it doesn't really matter. The respect should be there. I do agree that respect should be earned, not just I like given. the way he's, mm. he's looking at you the way. It <laughs> should be yeah. earned. I do agree. Yeah. It's very difficult to respect a man who's just staying in the house, doing absolutely nothing. nothing. Not that he's unable to, mm. but he just chooses not to. Mm. Now, respect there, it's difficult. Right. But you still should not belittle that man, especially in front of the children. Yes, I agree with you there. I agree with you. Which is what happens a lot of the times. The, the mother talks very ill of the man, especially when she is providing. Mm. She can be providing, yes, mm. but when she comes home, she needs to remember she's a wife yeah. and she's the one to serve the man mm -hmm. and respect him as long as he <coughs> deserves the respect. So okay. let's, okay, please, Victor, you have to allow me to just, <laughs> because right. that is direct mm -hmm. <laughs> to the women. Um, in, in my humble opinion, I do agree that you should never talk down your partner in mm. front of others, even not just the children, right. others. Because this is a partnership that you agreed to, the two of you committed to. And so therefore you have to protect the unit because you are one, mm -hmm. as soon as you enter that marriage um, contract. Um, that respect where the woman may be um, taking care of the home, which is your family together, that respect that the man needs is that even if you do not have a job, even if you're struggling, get up and do something. And by something, yes. I mean you woke up, you even decided to help with dropping the children to Plus. school. Mm -hmm. You know, you, 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 you went out, you, you removed the trash, got the paper, did something such that even if I come back from work, yeah. you also have a story is, to tell me about your day. Is this where this whole thing about respect is earned comes in? Oh, absolutely. 
lives. Absolutely. It is earned. For me to respect you, show me that you can lead with or without a job. With or without a job. Because for many women, every time you mention respect, they're like, respect is two-way. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Of course it's two-way. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's surely. Two-way, yeah. Surely. It is two-way. Mm -hmm. It is two-way. Um, oh, most of the time, we talk about the man needing to be respected and the woman needing to be loved. Yeah. But the man also needs to respect the woman mm -hmm. and know and appreciate her position in the family. Okay. Yes. John, now, yeah. sorry, yes, yes, yeah. a, a, lot of this, a lot of these problems really stem because one thing I, I know that does not happen properly is the premarital counseling. Uh -huh. It is very important. Uh -huh. Before the two, whether you come, come, we stay, you need to sit down with somebody who knows about this and run you through various scenarios. If this happens, what, what, what are you going to do? So that you are clear before you get married. Mm -hmm. Premarital counseling is very, 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 very important. Okay. And it's not just done for a short time. It should be done for a long period so that both of you know exactly what you're going into. Mm -hmm. So that when you're saying those vows of for better, for, for worse, what? you know what you're saying. Okay. And you've been through it. Okay. If the man loses the job, his job, what's going to happen? And you really discuss it. If the man falls sick, if the woman decides this, 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 and you go through all of that so that by the time you are coming to get married, you know exactly what you're going into and it doesn't come as a surprise. Okay. But today's marriage is, I meet her today, she's looking fly. <laughs> come on now. <laughs> <laughs> and then By next week, you. Yeah. she's in my house. Mm -hmm. And then I start discovering her. I start bit discovering by bit. Yeah. bit by bit. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, well said. June. <laughs> well said. And uh, I, like I said, I like the discussion because this is actually true. And some mm -hmm. of the things that we are living with, respect is earned. You cannot be respected if you don't attract it. Mm -hmm. You've got to attract that respect. During the premarital, and uh, it is usually discussed. But what do most of us do? Mm -hmm. We are looking at the date because oh. we want mm -hmm. to have yeah, one in the house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this one the procedure on a mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We love That's each other. We lessons yeah. yeah. see. Yeah. There was a story of. Uh, allow me to say that because Ian has said it. This couple that went for uh, not a couple. Well, they went for premarital counselling. Mm -hmm. And the father, it was a Catholic church, asked them, uh, have you ever disagreed? And they said, no, we, <laughs> like it, uh, yeah. we cannot disagree. Uh -huh. Then he told them, end of session today, yeah. yes. you go, we are meeting after two weeks. Mm -hmm. When they left the office, the guy wanted them to go to, their, to his mother's place. Mm -hmm. And the lady was saying, no, I don't need to because I'm going to. I told my mother we were going to our place. Then the uh, guy is, let's go to our place. Argument started. <laughs> and they disagreed. Ah, uh, boss. So when they were coming back next time, yeah. the first thing they we said is, we disagree. <laughs> <laughs> right at the door. Reality <laughs> and <laughs> things that we are being given are two different things. Okay. Yeah. And I'm, yeah, I'm definitely interested in what um, premarital counseling and programs like Man Enough that you guys run mean and how they impact a man's, um, how they negotiate their way through marriage. But really, uh, if we can take a step back, because, I mean, the, so Ian, every time we mention what men want, the first response from my mouth, from yours, from yours will always be respect. Okay. So now Kalesh has agreed that she's, she's going to respect you. Oh my God, Ian, I respect you a lot. Now, are you okay? Are you fine? Saying it and showing it are two different things. Mm -hmm. It's not just a question of, I mean, she'll never say, I respect you. Yeah. But just the way she behaves <laughs> will tell me whether she respects me or not. Mm -hmm. And oh, everything else will fall into place. Really? Yeah, the reason I asked that question is I, I wanted to understand if um, respect is the one, one fit all solution, you know. It's no, no, not exactly, mm -hmm. but it is, it's way up there. Mm -hmm. Because once she respects me, then, then whatever we are discussing, we, we both know where we stand. Okay. We'll have disagreement. It's not that marriage is, you know, relationship is a bed of roses. Yeah. No, there'll be ups and downs. 
But as long as you both understand where each of you stands, then you can, you can weather whatever comes mm -hmm. for better for worse. J J John, do you think there's much more than respect that a man's need? Yes, and I, 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 would, I would go slightly deeper. Mm -hmm. Respect is God-given. That was uh, what God said, mm -hmm. that the men be respected and the women be loved. Mm -hmm. How do I know I've been respected? What quenches that thirst in me of respect mm -hmm. when I look at Kaleche? Mm -hmm. There are several underlying factors that are there. And one of them is the culture. Mm -hmm. What has been in introcutated in me that this is how a man is respected. Mm -hmm. As I grew up, not even in the premarital yeah. counseling now, yeah. as I grew up, what, how was I mentored? What do I believe as respect? So when I look at my wife, yeah. what is it that I'm picking up as respect? Mm -hmm. That is the biggest factor that we have. Mm -hmm. okay. Most of us are lost because we did not have people who took us through. We were not mentored. Mm -hmm. right. We don't know what respect is. Mm -hmm. We don't know how to treat a woman. Mm -hmm. yeah. We don't know how to coexist with a woman. Now, when you bring me for premarital counseling for a few weeks, it does not remove that which has been in me mm -hmm. since maybe I was four or five. Mm -hmm. right. It also depends on the family that I set up that I grew in. What did mm -hmm. I see from my father and my mother respecting one another? Because okay. that's what I believe. Mm -hmm. If I didn't see it, where will I get it from? I will get it from what I am seeing. So most of us are fumbling on what respect is. Yeah. Okay. Kaleche, did you sometimes see men demand the weirdest of things and call it respect? Like kneel down as you serve me. Man, <laughs> we would need another show. <laughs> Can we just say we would need another show? Mm -hmm. I, I think, um, uh, rightfully, as John has said, a lot of times the confusion is men talk about themselves um, in a unit, Right. And they'll say, oh. we need respect, respect. And then they don't know what that respect means to each of them individually. Because mm -hmm. if I ask you now, Victor, what does respect mean to you? What do you say a woman needs to do in order for you to feel respected? I can bet you it will differ from what Ian thinks True. and what from John yeah. thinks. Okay. Yeah? I like but, that you didn't force me to say yeah, it. Yeah, you are, I could see your face. I was just seeing it. I was seeing don't it. Don't ask me. Don't ask me. Don't ask me. I can see you at like, no, mm -hmm. no, 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 no. My girlfriend is watching. Anyway, um, <laughs> you see, it differs, right? Mm -hmm. And I think um, as women also, we have a responsibility to ask you, and that is in the dating phase, which I call yeah. the data collection phase. Yeah. What does respect mean to you? When you are growing up, what did you observe as respect between your mom and your dad? Then I, see, I start to understand why you think a certain way. Why do you expect things to act in a certain way? Then mm -hmm. I ask myself, as Kaleche, can I live with right. this? Yeah. Right. Can I deal with this level of what he demands of me to respect him? Mm -hmm. Then when I say it works for me or it doesn't work for me, then I'll make that decision to be with you for life. Okay. I really want to move on from this respect point, but I just can't. Kuna ikitu in a conditional. Every time you, you, you'll find that, you know, um, men are the only people who are loved conditionally. So that respect only come, is attached to, you know, Conditions. if you can provide, mm -hmm. if you can do this or that. Okay. Um, uh, let me just remind you that God commanded men to do certain things. And unfortunately, we cannot change that. You're commanded to provide. Can you say that again? Yes. 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 yes, yes, yes. You are commanded by God to do certain things and in that command there is provision, there is prophecy, there is leader, you know. There, sure. there, there, there are things that I'm, I can't explain to you why but God commanded you yeah. and in the, I'm guessing when he commanded you as he removed me the rib, those, those, those things filtered into me and I know hey, he was commanded to do. <laughs> so therefore mm -hmm. that explains why we grew up with those expectations. But I can tell you now, as you have grown into this phase where we've got changes in the world, the world has grown to a point where we cannot survive on one um, salary alone in the home as it would have been done before. Yeah. Then I need to understand his provision is to a certain extent, but I am here as his helper. Okay. That is what I was created to be, okay. a helper. Okay. But I cannot help somebody who cannot help themselves. 
<laughs> Sorry, it's very difficult. If you want to understand why this is a problem, I'd like you to listen to what the residents of um, Wasengishu and Kitui, we actually asked all Kenyans across the country about this, but let's just hear from Kitui and Wasengishu first. Kile kinatakanga wanaume wakaya kwandoa kwanza ni mwanamuke ampikia banake mzuri pili kama ni kitu ya kuelewana kwa boma kama ni kununua kitu kufanya jambo lazima wote wasikizane siku hizi watu wengi wasikizani unapata kama ni kununua kama ni gari ama ni plot unapata mtu amejificha mwanamke ajui kama mwanamume amenunua kitu na baadaye kama kwa bahati mbaya ama mzuri mwanamume akishakufa mwanamke ndio anajua kama mzee alikuwa na ma, na mali ni vizuri wanaume na mwanamke kuelewana kwa kwa boma na kama ni kitu ambao waelewani lazima wa, wa waulize ushauri ushauri aida kutoka kwa kanisa ama kwa chief tinye naonelea ndio wanaume watoke kando ya boma ni wakikosa kupewa mapenzi vile wanahitaji itabidi mwanaume atoke kando ya boma atafute mapenzi huko nje halafu kutowasiliana ni kitu kingine inachangia wanaume watoke kwa ndoa kwa sababu wasiposikizana na mabibi zao itabidi watoke nje mali ma, mali maneno yao yatakuwa nasikilizwa kabisa alafu kitu kingine ni ufukara tuseme kama bibi ana mapato anaitisha bwana pesa pesa ya mahitaji yake asipopewa itabidi wa waanze kugobana ile stress tena inapeleka wanaume nje wakiongopa hizi stress za manyumba sisi tupendeleanga wanawake kwa maana wanawake sana sana ndivyo alizaa kama watu lakini yenyewe venye tunatakanga vizuri ni tuishi na wao salama huwa ananiheshimu mimi na kuheshimu nikikuletea kinyenye nimekuletea unakuwa yenyewe ukinafaa lakini si kuwa nikikuletea ile unaanza kuniona kama niko na mwingine inje sina mwingine lakini naomba tuishi kwa salama kitu ya kwanza e, kwa doa sisi kama wanaume kupendelea tu heshima kukaa kwa ya amani uwe kwa nyumba kama uko na mwanamke ama bibi yako ukae tu kwa utulivu kwa maana amani na kukaa vizuri ndio kitu ya maana so sisi kama wanaume tunapenda tu mwanamke yako na tabia nzuri mwanamke anaongea vizuri mwanamke anapenda Mungu mwanamke hawezi akakufanyia mambaya mwanamke ambaye ni mwanamke hakika hata yeye wewe ukitoka kwa nyumba ukimwacha umeacha kiongozi umeacha mtu ambaye utakuta mambo iko sawa ikuwe tu kuna mtu atakuja kama mgeni pale mwanamke mwenye yako pale kwa nyumba bibi yako akuwe tu anakuja anampokea kiheshima na anakuja kueleze kuna mtu fulani alikuwa hapa haijalishi mgeni ni waina gani bali hata kama ni wanawake wengine watakuja pale wanakuitanje wewe mwanaume awaeleze vizuri so nahitaji mwanamke ako na tapia <laughs> The residents of Kitui and was in Gishi just giving their different views on the topic of discussion of the day. I'll allow each one of you just 30 seconds to respond to the different aspects that came out of that. John, I'll start with you. Uh, that is actually what is happening out there. That is expectation. It's all about respect. It's all about uh, uh, provision. Mm -hmm. uh, they are all right mm -hmm. because that is the reaction. That is expectation. It is how we look at it in a marriage. It's how I look at it in my marriage. Like I said, how will I know that I've been respected? How will my wife know or my girlfriend know mm -hmm. that she is being loved? Mm -hmm. For me, and uh, they, they have said it there, there's a lady who have said they like men who can, who can be able to lead. Even if I'm not fully provided for my family, yeah. am I a good steward? Mm -hmm. And I'll go back to what Kaleche had said. The little provision that God has given to us mm -hmm. as a family, am I a good steward? Do I make her feel that she is secure today with the little that we have? And therefore, the, as we get more, 
then she will still remain to be secure. Okay. We behave, most of our men, and the complex that we have, because I'm not providing enough, the little that is there, I am doing things that are not beneficial to the family. Mm -hmm. So the wife now, of course, has to start now, is wondering, why is he going to drink the little that we have? Mm. Why is he right. going to spend the little that we have right. with things that are not adding value to the family? That is where the problem will start in. Okay. Mm. And that is where now I'll start seeing when she questions me, whichever way she puts it, when she once questions me or wants us to address that, yeah. then I'll start saying she's not respecting me. Actually, Kaleche, I think he has raised She's clapping. A very valid <laughs> <point>. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better. Yeah. It's just that if you can't steward the little you have been given, and this is a command again from God to every one of us, not even in a relationship. Mm. Today, Victor, if the amount you are paid by this NTV, you cannot steward. Do you think that he's going to give you more? That pay rise at that uh, review mm -hmm. will be denied mm -hmm. because you can't steward the little that he's giving you. Mm -hmm. That applies to us individually and then it applies even more to you as the leader of that home. Because in, in, in situations like on the ground, like the, you know, in uh, Wasingishu and Kitui, you'll find that those people on their day-to-day -day basis, they're asking for very basic things. Like we just want to be okay to survive this thing, right? And for us to survive... You can't take the little we have and yeah. now say, Mashida zangu ni mingi, <laughs> and you go and you drink it, yeah. or you go and you eat, uh, like I saw before in Kisumu, they say they have to go and eat meat first, <laughs> then they can come home and eat whatever and you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah you watoto. know, you know, like, like you don't care, because yeah. that's what happens. As okay. a woman, I translate it as, you don't care. Yeah. And I feel like the biggest thing that I've heard in, in that conversation is there's a lack of communication. Mm -hmm. If you're feeling down and you're in a relationship with this person you chose and committed to, why can't you communicate that this is how I'm feeling? Because you must have another fear that tells you, if I tell her that this is how I'm feeling about A, B, C, D, then she'll see me as weak. Okay. Then do you fully trust the partner you chose? Okay. Ian, the, the, actually the first point that the first guy raised was the issue of consultation. So you know, I mean, you, you unfortunately, um, after you pass on, uh, my kids find out that, you know, I had properties elsewhere. Does this leadership role that Kaleche is talking about translate to doing things I want without consulting anyone? I, I do not believe that a man should have property that the wife or the children do not know about. Mm -hmm. If this, this is a partnership, and before you even bought that plot, you should have really discussed it with her. Mm -hmm. It's not just for you to do it. She needs to know. Mm -hmm. And sadly, we men do not do that. We amass so much wealth that the woman does not know about, and nobody knows about this until we die. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, that's mine, that's mine. What's mine is mine. Mm -hmm. And the ladies yours know that very well. <laughs> <laughs> she, may, she may not even know. Yeah. Sorry, I, sorry, yes, Ian. Yes, yes, she yes. may not even know. Bring in again the other aspect of uh, what I've gathered over the, over the years working yeah. with men. There's also the other aspect of culture. Mm. Yes. A man you are told does not disclose no. everything he no. has to his mm -hmm. woman. That's a lie. Mm -hmm. And that's where the problems are coming okay. in. When you are waking up that early to go and look for this property or to work at whatever, whom are you doing it for? Okay. And what is happening today is many men are dying and they cannot enjoy the property that they sweat mm -hmm. for. The, the wife and the children cannot, cannot even enjoy, enjoy it. It, mm -hmm. it yeah. isn't being enjoyed by trustees and lawyers yes. okay. yeah. and other people. Very true. Allow me to be controversial um, at that point then. <clears throat> Ian, would it be right to say that we men are afraid of empowered women? No, we're not afraid of empowered women. What's going on then? It's just that... Well, it's, not, it, it's, it's wrong to generalize that yeah. we are afraid of empowered women. What we are afraid of or what we don't like is the way the so-called empowered woman has been told, especially by the West, that she is equal to the man. Mm -hmm. And that is, it's, it's something very Western. But it's in the UN, uh, is it UN SDGs, equality, nini? Yes, th th that's... Not equality in that way. Mm -hmm. And 
equality will never come. And there was a reason why that was put in, to try and get the woman what she deserves. Equality in that sense is you're a broadcaster, she's a broadcaster. She decides you joined equity. the same year, mm -hmm. but you're getting 120,000 yeah. And she's getting 80,000. Mm -hmm. The only reason for that is because she's a woman. Mm. Now, that's where the equality comes exactly. in. The right. That is where to... the rights, yes. Mm -hmm. We're not afraid of them. We're just not really happy with the way some of them are behaving because they are now educated and they feel they deserve a lot more, and how they are going about it. Okay, mm. then how do you explain Ian? Because, I mean, so we men can profess here, and I think John will agree with me, you would say the same thing. How would they say the same thing, that we want, um, you know, independent women, expressive, successful, smart, uh, not just waiting for me to bring everything in the, uh, at the end of the day. But how do you explain? The statistics actually show that um, the more empowered women are, the more promoted they are, they, the less they are likely to find a partner. And if they are already in relationships, they are, the, the chances of divorce are higher. Well, it's, it's th just that we've forgotten about the basics. Even just, just because she's really educated does not mean that she loses her place as a woman, mm. as a helper. If she still realizes and understands her role, then there really should not be a okay. problem. Kalechen. Well, let me, let, me, let me put it this way. I mean, as an empowered woman, yeah. as a woman who has worked hard, has been seen to do many things, it has been difficult for me to date. I am still single because there is that notion, as uh, Ian has said, that you are now a woman who cannot listen, will not help me, Whereas the reality is, yeah. if I've worked hard, I am doing well, I should be able to help even more, right? Okay. Um, but if we even go back to what the Bible says about this woman, yeah. if you go to the Proverbs 31 woman, that woman worked. She worked. Mm -hmm. She was independent. She was creative. She took care of things. But who was she doing it for? She was doing it for a person who is a king. Mm -hmm. That scripture begins by talking about the king and then the king now gets this is the ideal wife for you so there's a kingly way that he has to behave for him to deserve this proverbs 31 woman okay and for her she is able to serve that person and it will never change that she's able to help him john you raised a very valid point earlier on about how we are socialized and i think this is where the, do you think the the way we are socialized is that where the problem comes in because i go into dating knowing that you know if we are going on a date, I should pay for Kaleche's drinks, uh, the coffee that we'll drink during the coffee date. Uh, I'll probably drop her home. But the moment I meet her, she has her car. So first of all, she, she can pay for the coffee. She decides, she actually offers to pay for it. And then after that, I'm like, can I drop you home? She's like, no, I actually have my car. It becomes a problem to even <laughs> continue that relationship. I feel like I am not the one in charge of this relationship. Nani kama wacha tu I should look for people who are slightly less mm -hmm. empowered. Uh, to me, I would say it's two way. Mm -hmm. uh, to begin with, for us men, we are not scared of empowered women. Mm -hmm. And for those of us uh, who will understand why we have that woman, yeah. it's God given, it's a relationship, it's a gift. He who finds a wife finds a good <laughs> thing and obtains favor from God. Yeah. The Bible says that. A strong woman is a crown to her husband. Mm -hmm. So when we realize that, we will live in harmony. Challenge now comes from, from what we are raising is an attitude. When did I start taking up leadership? That time when I was dating and I was buying her coffee, mm -hmm. was I buying her because she didn't have? Mm -hmm. Okay. Most likely not. Mm -hmm. She maybe still have been working. So why was I buying that time? Where is this notion in my head that I am doing it because she can't? It, it's an attitude. No, it, you see, when is. I take an, an initiative, mm -hmm. I am the man. I am still test, trying to test myself. Am I able to provide? Mm -hmm. Can I buy her coffee? Mm -hmm. She's living on her own. I'm living yeah. on my own. Can I buy her coffee? Can I buy her some flowers or some chocolate? And still manage my finances the other way around. So that now by the time she will be coming in, <laughs> I can still spend and still be able to manage myself. Okay. Now, 
when I get it that I am doing it to win her, mm -hmm. that's why I'm taking her for coffee. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm taking her for the, the, the movie. Oh, guys don't go for movies these days. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, babe, we do, we do, we do. <laughs> All right? Yeah. And I'm buying her that flower because I'm, I'm trying to impress and to win her. Now, in my mind, the minute now she will come home and we get married, I've already achieved. That's the problem. That's now in me mental. Mm -hmm. But when I look at it that, yes, it is a relationship I want to get into, a covenant I want to get into yeah. with this lady. During the courting period, we are trying to find out, like Aleche said, what is respect to me? I'm also trying to find out from her what is love okay. to her. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the minute we say now we enter into that partnership and we go to church or whatever, blah, 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 yeah. then we are there and I'm providing the leadership. She is my suitable helper. Now, things that we are hearing there about communication and buying things without, then if we are one, the Bible says we become one flesh. Yes. Mm. If we are one, why should I even think of buying a house or buying a plot without consulting? It is important to have something of your own. Now, when we have that mentality of tuneza wachana, and let me say this, I have men today, men even older, who believe that it is their pocket, their wallet. And I know that some of them are tuning in. And I become a great enemy. That it is their wallet, the person by Koko wallet, that is treating them, that they are surviving because of what is in their wallet. Mm -hmm. yeah. They messed it long time ago. That's where they split now with the wife. I have men at the same time, and Ian can bear me witness, who are too close to their wives, who will consult their wives in whatever they are doing, and they are happily married. Lakini butambi wewe umekaliwa bwana. Exactly. Watch and nikaliwe. Image perception. Let me tell you, Victor. As I'm speaking to you here now, yeah. and I know my wife is watching and a few other people. <laughs> <laughs> but, and I am, but I am happy. I love it. Mm -hmm. I am happy. I am progressing. God is increasing us. That's mm -hmm. it. So, mbao huna utaki kukaliwa, watch us. Do well. Mm -hmm. Do well. That's right. Where we endele kuwa independent, okay. watch a mimi nikaliwa. Yeah. That society, what we think about society is also what is ruining a ah. lot of relationships yes. yeah okay we've got the empowered woman she feels that she's got to get a man of her class mm -hmm. because if she gets if she meets somebody who's poor uh, if she meets somebody who's poor what will her friends say mm -hmm. so she's met this guy he's really good yeah he's got a lot of potential which is very important yeah he's not rich but he's got a lot of potential and they they clicked but she will not go with him because what will people think when I have to go picking him up? That's a big problem. Thinking, worrying about what society will think about you will stop you from doing so many things. Okay. You should ignore that. <laughs> Kalech, I really want to take a break, but because for <laughs> it's the sake burning, of this, it's 20 burning. seconds. Uh, uh, while I agree that, yes, we are driven by perception, and yes. both men and women are driven by perception and what their friends say, what you'll be told, in a situation like that, my experience is, like you've said, if I am the one with the car, yeah. I am the one who will, will, will ask you to the date and will pay, yeah. most men feel emasculated. Uh -huh. And whereas I'm, I could very well be okay with your potential, then now you start looking at me like, Annie, I will never lead in this home. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, it's really difficult. Kaleche. And that is actually the basis of the last conversation, the last time we were here. When we come back, allow me to start with John on that very same question. But what are people saying on social media? We ask you this very same question. What are men looking for and want in a relationship uh, today? But because of time, we go for this quick break. When we come back, we look at what we are saying on social media. If you want to call in, you can also do the same. We will be back with a very interesting conversation because John, Kaleche and Ian are staying with me.
Shusho, wamesema hakuna harusi. Kwa nini? Hapana. Shusho, mahita harusi hapa. Mahita endelea. Nani anasababisha harusi? Kofi. Sababu ya kofi. Kofi. Pike brea record to stream iwe do. Mfano kwa bora founder na kona hapo. Nasema safari kwa mikola free data kila siku. Sasa tunaweza kustream hii wedo. Hai Shosho. You make is the bride. Pata hadi 500 MB free kila siku. Piga star 544 hash na uchagwe unlock free data. Mwelekeo ni internet. Did you know at Ruiru Mabati Factory we offer free delivery within the same day? Did you know at Ruiru Mabati Factory you can open an account and lipa pole pole at your convenience? Did you know at Ruiru Mabati Factory you can get customized sizes according to your roof plan to avoid wastage? Call us now on 0111-050-700. Ruiru Mabati Factory. Malisafi kwa beipoa. Jay, wajua? Dawa ya Bedlam ina uwezo wa kuua viwango vyote kutoka mayai hadi kunguni aliyekomaa. Jay, wajua? Hakuna madhara ya kukaa chumbani baada ya kupuliza. Bedlam imedhibitishwa na shirika la afya duniani WHO kwa matumizi ya nyumbani. Kwa maelezo zaidi wasilia nasi kupitia nambari au tovuti yetu iliyo kwenye runinga yako. Tumia Bedlam 200 SL uangamize kunguni kabisa. I'm growing up, I'm growing into every moment. So if that's now to the moment, Minute Made Nutri Defenses, fortified with vitamin E and zinc to help improve your defense system. Lucas Ed. Energy to get through it. What you want in a marriage is fulfill fulfillment. Because um, I, come in, I come in with expectations, you also have expectations. And uh, when it comes to expectations, the challenge is some expectations are unrealistic. So I try to be realistic in myself to think, where am I at, at the moment? Say financially. Where am I financially? Where is my wife financially? And if we can be able to realize where we are, it becomes easy for us now to come together and say, um, bring your part and I bring my part and this is it. And uh, even emotionally, if uh, one person is emotionally intelligent, like personally for me, I think the, the thing is striving so much to portray emotional intelligence and also for her to come from the place of knowing, let me try to understand this person and where they are coming from. If I'm going through a problem in marriage and I'm a young person, when I go to listen to the old guys, sometimes what they are telling me is not relevant to my time. And so I think uh, there's need for us to come together. We look at the old setting and the new setting and try to merge all these things together. And I think with that we can find a way out. Kama mina napenda demenye ako true. Na deme nya naonge ukweli, si deme ana kuchit. Kitu ingine, si deme, si deme nye ati ana kutegemea, ana ntegemea mimi. Ajitegemea tutegemea, ane tukwe tu, tunasaidia na si wote, unacheki. So, isiko, ikikuwa hivo by the way, itafenda fiti. Kusu watu engi, kwa andoa, asaki na mama, 
amekuwa kitaji maybe kuishi maisha mazuri na upande wa ya wanaume tena anataka mama ambaye anachidaidi kwa kazi kibiashara kwa sababu samani saa kale kwa mama wengi walikuwa wanategemea mzee na siku hizi mambo imebadilika maisha imekuwa ngumu na imetakikana kila mtu afanye kazi kama mama sio vizuri kuuliza chumbi kiberiti sabuni mama angalau achangie achangie kidogo na pili ili mambo yote ipatikane inafaa wakina papa waruhusu kina mama kufanya biashara tukiaminiana kwa maisha kila mtu angalau alete kidogo maisha itaendelea vizuri upande yangu kwa marriage mimi napenda kae na bibi bile adamu na hawa si nivyo mpendane wawili alafu kitu ya pili heshima ikuwe kwa nyumba ya tatu bibi asikuwe akifanya 1212 upande hiyo 1212 eh 1212 achunge nyumba line yangu according to the law ya tatu asikuje saa zile imefika saa yetu ya kufanya mambo yetu ikuwe free 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 kuna kumembelezana saa zile tukienda saa zile let us according to the law saa zile giza imeingia <laughs> those are the residents of Kericho uh, Kericho town in Kericho county giving us their views on this very interesting topic this morning we are still talking about the discussion of the day on what men really want when it comes to relationships and marriage and what not remember we want you to be part of this conversation that question is what do men look for and want in a relationship let's get to see what some of you have been saying on social media Lorenzley Mungai says emotional support and encouragement thank you um very brief and, and straight to the point in Novesta's tomb says law vo <laughs> law <laughs> volumes when argue <laughs> This is specific to his house, oh, I think. Oh, yeah. Caretaker underscore when you says peace and respect. This sounds, um, yeah, peace and respect. Thank you. Um, Jay Kimmich says respect and loyalty, nothing less. Thank you, Jay Kimmich. Do we still have more? Yes, we have Felix Kaham, who says men wants only love. Thank you, Felix. Aha, uh -huh. we have um, Duhiu Kiyama Nasema, respect and submission. And we also give the same to our women. I swear, Kaleche loves you already. Um, Edward yeah. Luchemo says, peace and freedom. This is sounding like we're mm. fighting for independence. Mm. That is the last one. <laughs> 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 but really, um, of course, Ian Bogwa is a teacher and an artist. Kaleche Mumo, the CEO of KM Network, and John Kanyoni, a masculinity mentor, are still with me for this conversation. And even before I ask you that question that I promised, you, promised to ask you, let me just... Um, allow Kaleche to respond to the the feedback that we're seeing on social media. I, I mean, just listening to the, the feedback, um, you can tell that these are people talking about the situations they feel respond and resonate with them directly. Mm -hmm. You know, when, when a guy says that uh, there are certain laws that command that a woman <laughs> should do, you're like, which, which law are you referring to? Because me, the way I know the government of Kenya law, mm -hmm. there's nothing like that. Mm -hmm. In fact, the constitution actually recognizes men and women to be equal. Exactly. Especially when it comes to property. Exactly. Yeah. So, so, I mean, just ov overall, um, to me, it feels like uh, people are disgruntled in one way or another, and there's a break of communication between them and their partners. Mm -hmm. And that is how things, you know, start to break down. I love that uh, there's a woman who said that, you know, you can't just depend on your husband for everything, even the basics, and mm -hmm. which is true. Again, I bring you back to what the Bible says about the Proverbs 31 woman. She was the most hardworking woman I have ever read about mm -hmm. because of the things she was able to do. She's the one who went and looked for land and saw it was good and bought it. Mm -hmm. She was up early in the morning. There were things she was doing. She was working. Actually, to me, that defines that hardworking, independent, creative woman who is actually helping her husband by being that hardworking. Okay. Uh, John, before we went for the break, Kalecha raised a very important point. And she said that most men, uh, anytime the woman, you know, contributes equally in the relationship and all that, you start to feel emasculated. And the last time she was here, the question was, is masculinity in crisis? 
Well, yes, for masculinity. That was a long pause. For masculinity <laughs> in crisis, yes, but yeah. maybe in a different context from what, what uh, we are discussing. Mm -hmm. The empowered woman, like I said, every man would want an empowered woman. But the question is, what does that empowerment bring? In the first place, if we ask ourselves, who empowers this woman? Mm -hmm. A man has to be involved somehow by either providing as the father, or, as the father or providing or even allowing for her either to go to college, to mm -hmm. university and blah, blah, blah. So the greatest question that I always find is, are you in tandem with that empowerment? Uh -huh. As your woman is getting empowered, mm -hmm. are you preparing for that empowerment? Mm. Sometimes I ask men, you paid for her college fees. What did you expect? What did you expect? Uh -huh. <laughs> she has been promoted in our place. Why is it a problem now? Mm -hmm. What did you expect? Mm -hmm. Surely. But I will also ask it the other way around. Yeah. That may not be a problem now to the man, he tells me. But the question is, the lady got promoted, rose up, her attitude has changed. Mm. Because society also is working on her, she has changed. She is now driving, maybe I'm not driving. Mm -hmm. Her timings will change. The way we would communicate now, like he and said, I'm not her class. Mm -hmm. And we started from a humble beginning. She got more empowered. Yeah. I may even have given way for mm. her to get that mm. empowered. Yeah. But when she gets empowered, why is it that now she feels I'm not her class? Okay. A case in point is we started maybe in a company very lowly, mm -hmm. a tea girl and a driver. Yeah. Love... And we have run rose over the ranks. Mm -hmm. Me as a driver, I may not have gone very far. Mm -hmm. But you, you have risen up. Mm -hmm. You have gone to situations now. You did a course here. You change now from the tea girl. You become a clerk, blah, 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 blah. Now, where you are, I cannot... Maybe I don't even speak the English that you are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but where are you also now to be? Why are you prepared for my level? Okay. Uh, Ian, I'm really itching to give you a chance. But Kaleche, before I go to him. I have to respond to that. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. But really, um, I see a lot of women talk about Iwakati Mama Alkona Fanya Masters. You should have also like level up. Mm. Should a man try to level up? Well, um, I'm. Uh, listening to what John has said, and I really, really understand the perspective he's giving, where two things. One, as you meet this empowered woman or you are in the process with her as she gets empowered, are you preparing yourself for what that means? That is very important for the man because sometimes I think he doesn't get what it's going to mean and they don't walk with each other through it. Now, as the woman, there are women who will forget how this man helped you get to where you're going and how you are there as a team. The teamwork, this thing of being in it as individuals is mm -hmm. where we have a problem. Mm -hmm. If you truly <coughs> committed and took that vow that says that today we are no longer two, we are one, then it means that whatever suits me should suit you. Mm -hmm. And I should work at making sure it works for you. So if in that example that he's given where this uh, clerk and, uh, I mean, this uh, tea girl driver, she rises up, I would ask myself as that woman, I want my man to also rise. Mm -hmm. I want him not to be driving people around. I want him to own his own fleet of cars with his drivers. Mm -hmm. So how can I, in my position where now I have the ability to help, mm -hmm. help him? Because it helps us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, wakati umefika mwisho, kama nimewachia form for, you know, there's only a, uh, so much you can, uh, you can do. Mm -hmm. So wewe ukona certificate ya form for, it mm -hmm. means you can, utafika tu mahali yapo. Mm -hmm. But your wife has a degree, she's now going for her master's, she's now a CEO or something. Mm -hmm. It means even as I try to level up, kuna mahali tu nitaisha depth. You see, I think, I think in such situations, you have to ask yourself, where were you meeting that you <laughs> saw? No, no, really, let's be honest. Yeah. This, this thing of being in your lane, may I believe it's very true. Mm. Because if I had the capacity to meet that person who has uh, the certificate, mm -hmm. then I must have the bandwidth to deal with him at that level. Okay. And at that time it didn't matter. And, yeah. and if, if, if at that time it didn't matter, <laughs> there was something I wanted which suited me, and it was selfish. Uh -huh. That was a selfish engagement. Yeah. Well said. <laughs> it was selfish. I was doing it because I need a man. I don't want to be alone. And so I compromised something that I know I cannot live with. Okay. So ladies, stop 
compromising things you cannot live with because as you grow older, those are the things that you cannot hide. Let me ask, even I can ask these men in this room, your age after some time, it does not allow you to deal with certain things. Your <laughs> bandwidth is finished. Mm -hmm. you, do ju <laughs> you are just, it's, think of your worst internet provider and you are there, you're the guy. You can't. So please stop compromising. Be very, very honest about what you can take, why you say this is where I would like it to be because I can deal with this going forward for the rest of my life. Ian, what do you think? I think she's, she's correct when she says that. But, um, communication is very important. And we, men and women communicate in different ways. Yeah. Men are, are doers. And women will say, but not, not directly. <laughs> And sometimes women expect the man to be able to read her mind. Mm -hmm. Yes, men, men there fall short. Never going to happen. <laughs> yes. So I would, I would ask women to, to break it down and just plainly. <laughs> basics. <laughs> basics. Using words of three syllables. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you want. <sighs> Don't just keep quiet Say it louder, and expect yes. Say it, me. Say it louder. Tell me what you want. Mm -hmm. Don't uh -huh. keep it in your mind and expect me to read your mind. <laughs> That's one thing. And then don't look at a man when you're courting and say, who you? It's okay, I will change him. Uh -huh. No. Never. No. Mm -hmm. You got him the way he is. Mm -hmm. Take him the way he is. He might even you, knew, you knew what he was doing when you were courting. Mm -hmm. And now you're married and he's doing the same thing and you're expecting, you're wondering, I, the man has not changed. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay, I'll change him. I'll change him. It's okay. Let me put you on the spot on this one. So, um, because we are, I mean, apparently uh, we are supposed to stay calm, stay confident, as John says, do not be feel threatened if your woman is empowered. Now, let me give you an example. Thankfully, the, um, the, um, the Speaker of the National Assembly is a man, Justin Muturi. So, assume you're, um, now Justin Muturi is a lady, and uh, now the, the Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya is my wife. Initially, let's say we used to live in any estate, uh, mid-level estate, maybe a house I bought. And suddenly, because my wife has been promoted to the Speaker of the National Assembly of Kenya, it comes with a lot of things, mm -hmm. which means chess cars, nini. Mm -hmm. It means other members of the National Assembly would be coming to visit her. And it sort of means we have to change where we live. Sasa tunayenda Karen kwa nyumba mbae tunahamia, katasi of my wife being promoted. And all the time she's in consultations with the President of the Republic of Kenya, mm -hmm. the Senate Speaker, or Speaker of National Assembly of Tanzania. How am I supposed to stay calm? And you know, at some point you feel like some nimutuwa na iskot watu tuhuku. And people come to your house and they don't know if you're the husband. Mm -hmm. ama no, 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 no. That should not bother you at ah. all. There is a difference between her job and her as your wife. Yeah. As your wife, she has not changed, or she should no. not change. When she comes home, she's no longer the speaker. Mm -hmm. She's no longer the president. Yeah, she's she's not a CEO. She is your wife. So nothing there changes. Akini, my wife at home, and akuja sane after kuongea na president, ametoka consultations. Allow me. Allow me. Allow me. Allow me. Please. Please. Allow me to say something. Yeah. The, the, you know, I, I'm just listening to even your tone. Yeah. And I'm wondering, Victor, why is it feeling like a challenge to you? Why? Why are you? No. No, no, no. Why are you feeling challenged that she's come from talking to the president? Is it because you are jealous that it is not you? Remember, selfishness, mm -hmm. jealousy, that thing comes from somewhere where you're thinking, why is she the one? She should be here. Does she not know I'm in charge? Mm. No one has removed you from being and, and in charge. And that's being in charge. How do you stay in charge when... Uh... By allowing her mm -hmm. to thrive in the position yes. in which... We she don't is. even yes, know yes, if yes, you're yes. the security guy in this house or... She will, sure. that, that she will make sure. She will make sure. That's you. That's that you. is in your mind. Mm -hmm. That is in your mind. Mm -hmm. True. And that's a problem that most of us are having. Okay. That's why some of us have even denied our wives... And to take up opportunities, yes, yes. we yes. would have benefited us. Yes. Mm -hmm. I wish that situation that you are saying would happen to me. Ooh, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> totally agree. Oh yes. And by the way, you know what? Uh -huh. Sometimes even as she talks to the president, mm -hmm. and maybe the, 
there are some functions I will be there of course. and I will even shake the president's Come hand on. because of that. Come what an on. opportunity. But yes. you know, if I take it positively, yes. it is beneficial to us. Uh -huh. By the way, in some instances and some other places, uh -huh. in such cases, you even get an allowance yeah. As husband. <laughs> for supporting her yes. to be where she is. It reminds me of the husband and of the if, vice. If you are a good leader, yeah. by the way, you may even be influencing her decisions that she even gives to the president. Exactly. There you go. Mm -hmm. Exactly. This is what is happening. But when I have that complex, I know some instances where I have influenced decisions. Okay. Do, so, so do you think this is in my mind then? That, it is um, absolutely yes. in your mind. Absolutely. Because and you, you have got an inferiority complex. Yes. yes. That's the one. That's what you have. Mm -hmm. If you don't have, if you didn't have the inferiority conflicts, then you wouldn't be feeling threatened at all. But it, this, it's you my society say, yes. to blame and you. And if yes. you're not threatened, if you don't feel threatened mm. and show it, yeah. she will also treat you with, that with respect. respect. Let me tell you why it's also the society. You remember when we had this, um, the, the, the husband of the vice president of the U.S. now, Mm. I, I, I forget his name. We didn't even have it in the constitution, the title of, you know, you, know, you used to first lady. Mm. Now the, uh, we used to, the, 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 you know, the second in command. Now you have a first, what is it called? A first gentleman. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And you are the kuhapo tu, unabeba bibilia, unashikia mama. I mean, if you, I mean, how much does the society have to um, pay for how we are socialized as, as people, as men? I really don't think you need to bother about what the society thinks because mm -hmm. there, there will always be people say who will who will say that who your sasa mm -hmm. okay he's nothing he's finished his wife will do whatever she wants let them say that and there are others who will say wow look at that man mm -hmm. supporting his, his wife, wife. Mm -hmm. exactly without him she will not amount to much she's he's really supporting her that's the kind of man I'm looking for. That's what we, some women, wise women will look at and, and, and say. So forget about what the society His name about. is Douglas Emhoff. So how do we then breed more Douglas Emhoffs in, in the society? How do we live in harmony um, in a situation where my woman is empowered and I'm completely comfortable? They're not just comfortable, but I'm also supporting her. We need to bring up boys yes. who know what their worth is. Mm -hmm. And their worth is not how much money they have. That's mm -hmm. right. How, many, how much property they have. That's not their worth. It is their worth as a human being, their worth as a man. Once the boy grows up knowing that I am a man and I am respected and I have got a lot of potential, and I am going to go far, then that's it. That's it. But we need to grow the, we need to grow the boy to believe all of this. Mm -hmm. yes. Do you think they believe this at this moment, John? Sadly, we do not have enough men mentors. Mm -hmm. Yes, men have abdicated their role as fathers, and they've left the raising of the children. I'm not being disrespectful. They've left the raising of the children to teachers, wives, mothers, mm -hmm. and house helps. Mm. I pay the fees. I, I'm done. I, I bring food. I pay the fees. I pay the rent. I, my work is done. Mm. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Yeah. And then when the boy, and of course when the child does well, that's my child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. When the child does not wear that's your child. child. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. John, you, you run man enough. How does it come in at this situation? Well, uh, man enough now, nine years going to ten years. And what we've seen in the man enough is a, is a program where men come together to be vulnerable, to learn from one another. Which is iron something we're not used to. Vulnerable. Iron sharpens iron. Mm -hmm. To have brotherhood, people who can be there for you. Because if I may digress slightly, there are three basic needs that a, a man will need, of course, also a woman. And they are the ones that play out in our lives as we live on. And they're actually basically three A's, if I just mentioned. Mm -hmm. One of them is acceptance. Acceptance, am I accepted? Do I yeah. feel fitting in? Mm -hmm. In whatever situation that it is, that's a need that I have. Yeah. Do I feel the affection? Do I feel loved? In whatever situation that it is, either by my parents, as I'm growing up, yeah. by my siblings, as we are there, by my spouse, 
do I feel that affection? And lastly, the affirmation. Do I get affirmed? Mm. I will make mistakes. Do I get encouragement? Do I get somebody who stands by me and tells me, yes, you tried, but next time you could do it this more. You are doing it well, keep doing it. Or do I just get, most of the times, I'm just being scorned, scorned for everything that I've done. I'm being told I'm good for nothing. Mm -hmm. There is nothing that can come out of good of me. Sometimes even the wife will ask the man, what kind of a man are you? Okay. Right? Okay. So because of those three basic needs, men have had issues. And man enough, we just bring now an environment, if I may would say so, yeah. where men become vulnerable to one another. Mm -hmm. You get brotherhood, somebody who can speak out to, somebody who can walk, somebody who can speak it to you as it is. Mm -hmm. That I, I can be free to tell Ian as a man, it's okay. the way I saw you, sorry, I'm only saying no, no, this. No, no, no. <laughs> the way I saw you after church, the way you shook the hand of that lady, yeah. normally that would lead to, and it doesn't take offense. Yeah. I would be having a situation, and a, and a, a, a situation with my wife, and I go to Ian and tell him, Jana usiku ni mechapwa. Nabibi. Nabibi. And I on, Ian will not think of me as a lesser man. Yes. Mm. He will not judge me. He will not condemn me. He will walk with me. Maybe the next thing that I will hear from him, well, mm -hmm. jana, mimi nilichapa last week. Mm. Well, by kuchapa I'm giving. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Many, many a times men, we think we are the only ones. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we are dying with situations. Mm. And we are trying to bring them out to our spouses and to the children. Okay. We are trying to cover up. We are trying to cope. Okay. So now that we are training the men to, let's say, even be comfortable with empowered women, are we training the women to be what? Uh, empowered? No. no, 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 no. When they are empowered, as, as Ian says, empowerment should... How to handle themselves empowerment. Yes. while yes. they are the, orga the organization that I support, that I, I, I work with, Transform Nations, uh, they, they know about it. It started with the boys to men. Mm -hmm than the man enough. Today we have a program mm. called EZA, that is for the, woman. for the woman. And preparing this woman also to be a woman enough, you might may put it in quotes. Mm -hmm. Because if one of them is empowered, one of you is empowered in a relationship, and the other one is looking at it in a different angle, mm -hmm. you'll still be having yep. that challenge. Yep. So yep. we appreciate, yes, it cannot be one-sided. It has to be both of you preparing both yes. for a common goal to mm. be able to live together. Mm, yes. Okay. Yes. Kalej. Well, I, I, I love what they're doing, and, and I've heard of those programs. I am yet to join the Ezra One. Yeah. And I've seen the differences between the men who've attended Man Enough and the women who've gone to Ezra. Really? And you see, we're doing this as adults. Mm -hmm. But truly, truly, as Ian said, this thing has so to start. start from when they are children. Uh -huh. And I think I said it last time on the episode we had before. The woman also has to change what she's telling her boy yes. about who he is. Yes. Yes. You can't stand yes. there and tell me you hate that your husband oh, uh, comes in the house saying he's Jogo, he can do what he wants. <laughs> then you're busy telling your son, Baba, where are you going to do this? Where are you going to do this? Where you can't. Mm -hmm. Because what are you doing? You're teaching your son to do exactly what you don't like, and then you're going to give that burden to somebody else's uh, daughter. Mm -hmm. So we also need to change how we're bringing up our sons. True. And it starts with us understanding what do I as a woman today see yeah. are the difficulties that I'm uh, experiencing as a wife or as a sister, as dealing with different men on different levels, and how do I want my son to be able to grow up to do differently? So we have a responsibility because, yes, we want the men heavily involved in being fathers, but solely that woman ends up having more responsibility on how that child turns out. Ian, is it easier if we do it when they're, they're still young? Because, uh, I mean, as John would tell you, uh, getting rid of something that someone has believed for so long is, is a bit hard. Bring up a child in the way he should. And when he grows up, he will not depart from it. Mm. So the answer is yes. You, you straighten a tree when it is still a twig. Mm -hmm. Unlearning is very difficult. We need the the boy to start learning such things when they are young. Mm -hmm. Not to be left and told, ah, you will fend for yourself. You, you need to man up. By the time they are manning up, they don't know who to talk to, and then they just keep it inside them, and that is what will really end up uh, killing them. Mm -hmm. Suicide rates. It's more boys, more men than women. Yeah. Why? 
because the man feels he has nobody to talk to. If he goes to talk to somebody else, his best friend, next time they are drinking, all his buddies, he walks in and, hey, they are, yeah, yeah, and they're already laughing at mm -hmm. him. Yeah. So he, he has no safe space as, as, um, as they do. Okay. We don't have enough safe spaces. And then we don't have enough men who are taking up the, their roles as fathers, mm -hmm. not necessarily just to their own children, to other boys, bring them up knowing what is expected of them, yeah. letting them know that they are emotional. Yeah. There's absolutely nothing wrong with you crying. Mm -hmm. There's absolutely nothing wrong with you feeling sad, yeah. feeling angry. Yeah. That is who you are. Okay. But this thing of telling us, ah, stop crying, are you a girl? No. We're, we're doing them a disservice. Um, I, I, I mean, this would be a very good, positive note to, to end such an interesting conversation. But unfortunately, I have to close with this and allow uh, you to comment on it. I mean, the, the, the entire point of this conversation and the <coughs> question at the center of everything we've been doing is what do men really want and do they know what they want? So, and, and the, the reason why women keep asking this question is in as much as Ian says respect, he says uh, the three A's, acceptance, being valued, um, affirmation, and all that, the women who actually do all of that, they do everything correctly. They even become very much empowered and do not let, let it get into their heads. They do everything correct. But there's something in our society which we call going out of wedlock, or let me call it cheating. Let's, mm. let's not find, um, and it takes people back to the same question then. What do people, especially men, really want? I've literally done Everything. all that he wanted me to do. John. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and I know a number of people are watching. Cheating and in a relationship. Yeah. The same question comes in. I've done everything. Yeah. Why is he or why is she cheating? Yeah. There are other aspects that come alongside with that. Mm -hmm. Some of us give in to pressure. The pressure of, when I call peer pressure, sometimes we only think peer pressure is only for the teenagers. Mm. But peer pressure to me is at whatever level that you're in. So if I'm going out with the boys, and most of them are doing it, they are cheating, I'm likely to. Mm -hmm. If in me, in my mind, it's kind of like I've had no man who goes with one woman, one woman in Jogo, yeah then I will do it. Because the truth is, every man will get attracted. It is what you do with that attraction. Yeah. Just like every woman will see a handsome man and also get attracted. It is what you do with that attraction. I will also say this. There are others that it is in the family. It runs in the family. It is started from your great-grandfathers, it is going in the family. And what my father was doing, as I do it, I'm even wondering why people are bringing Ubalabu about it. Mm -hmm. Because it is in me. Mm -hmm. Some of them may require some, because sometimes we also don't know why we are doing it. It's after you have done it and you're wondering, Ay, why? But you keep on doing it. Yeah. So some of us are doing it without knowing. Very few of us do it because of the woman. That, that's the point that we need to understand. Yeah. Very few of us do it because I'm not running away from my wife. It's not that she's not satisfying me. Mm -hmm. It's not that she's not, she has not played her part. But I'll still find myself going. Okay. So I need to find out, why am I going? Let me not be like other people. Does it bother me? Mm -hmm. Because if it bothers me, then I'm going to work on it. Okay. All right. I'm sure everyone really wants to respond because of this time. <laughs> Allow me to just pick a last couple of, um, of course, some feedback from what some of you have been saying on social media. We had asked you, what do you think men want and really look for in a relationship? Uh, of course, you're sending that feedback using the hashtag new normal at NTV Kenya and at Victor Kiprof underscore. Elon Karaoke says, men simply want peace of mind. It's the result of respect. Thank you, Elon. Um, hmm. She Gitao says, real men are looking for peace of mind, respectful and caring women, while others are searching for good looking wives. Thank you, She. They <laughs> <laughs> um, Rito Wax says, recognition by spouse, respect and peace. Toshagari, try this to a man, you will have won his heart. Thank you, Dave Rito. 
Richard Hosea Sika says, everything God gave us for free. These women have now become too much. <laughs> <laughs> Claiming anything and everything. God help us. <laughs> Thank you, Richard. Um, Cheryl Akob says, nowadays, women don't care as long as you don't have money. As a man, you won't get the things you have mentioned above. Tafuta pesa. We shimi we, I think we, you need thank as you. long as you Cheryl have money. for your feedback. Yes. Mm. And teacher Tony Othiambo says, reasons why most of the relationships are meaningless these days is because both partners do not understand each partner's needs. I think this is something we Very have um, really highlighted in the conversation. And finally, we have one boy, one boy, who says, who knows? These men will marry you, then they, they start, start dating, dating their type. <laughs> Ouch! And that is a very good place to, Ouch. of course, um, <laughs> take this break. But now that we have understood where the problems are, how then do young men, um, of course, identify the right partner? That's the last question we'll try to answer in the last part of this conversation after this break. Don't go too far because John, Kaleche and Ian are staying with me. Classic bouquet at 899 shillings for 30 days to enjoy 64 channels. If it's premium, it's on Classic. Classic bouquet, the taste of class. Premium content on Star Times. Subscribe today. Hamjambo wa Kenya naitwa Denzel Njuguna kupata wimbo wangu Kigosho Neirio as your skiza tune bonyeza star 811 star 933 hash skiza na nation supporting local talent a place in your heart kids you mustn't be afraid listen you have to trust me you're safe now everything's fine okay so what will you do if we can't talk to them i'll get the kids and use them as a bargaining chip against the ludesmas kids we're not far from the coast okay <laughs> You okay? Yay. Stay down. Listen to me. Just stay down. I don't have a clear shot. A place in your heart. All holders are notified to report and surrender unclaimed financial assets to the Unclaimed Financial Assets Authority on or before November 1st, 2021. Visit www.holders.ufaa.go.ke and get started. Generation 3 is fun, Godfather, man, OG. interesting, smelly shoes and socks, socks smells, shock sisters, educative, and awesome. Not a moment out of place until the letter came. Marta. Remember, it's Generation 3 every Saturday from 10 in the morning. Only on NTV. Luke is it. Energy to get through it. Shopping guide. Set a budget. 
Don't shop when you're tired, hungry, lonely, bored, or upset. Glovo. You order, we deliver in minutes. Get unlimited free deliveries for food, groceries, and Glovo party orders. Subscribe to Glovo Prime for only 300 shillings per month. Terms and conditions apply. Step to the right one time, to the left, then pause. Hmm, don't go, I'm Kenya. It's feeling good, feeling proud. Hi, what's up, beautiful people? This is your girl Nadia Mokami, aka the African pop star. Then you're watching Kwetu Mix. Dania NTV, keep it locked straight up. Lucas Ed, energy to get through it. Mambo matatu yale ndio yanafanya ndoa kuwa thabiti. Kwanza mwanamume, mwanamke amti mwanaume. Mwanamume inasemekana katika Biblia apende mke wake. Kwa hivyo kama upendo hiko katika ndoa na heshima hakuna doa lolote ambalo inaweza kutokea. Kwa hivyo watu wanayetafuta mambo mengi kusema ati kwamba ati kuna romantic sijui nini romantic yote ni upendo. Ya pili ni heshima. Ya tatu ni ngono ambayo ni halali ambayo tunasema illegal sex. Kwa hivyo hiyo ndio ina govern ndoa. Mimi ninapochukua mke kutoka kwao na kuja kwangu. Mke huyo amekuwa familia yangu. Na vile amekuwa familia yangu endeleo langu. Mke huyo ni lazima hawe na heshima na mimi. Hawe na heshima na wazazi wangu. Mimi pia nitakuwa na heshima na wazazi wake na familia yote kwa jumla. Ah, mke wangu ni kama kiungu changu. Na inastahili mimi kuheshimu mke wangu na mke pia anyeheshimu lakini mambo ya kusema eh, mke hawe juu yangu haiwezekani ndugu yangu haiwezekani maana mke ni zingo na mimi ni kichwa there are three things that a man requires from a, from a, in a love in a partnership uh, sort so one is uh, the love with yourself love is the is the is the biggest of all that that is required in a relationship the other one is uh, that companion the companion now uh, a woman should be submissive to a man very submissive if, uh, if, if at all a man tells, tells a woman to do this a woman should be very submissive respect that woman and do that that she has been assigned by that by the man then the other one the other thing is uh, that cooking now man should be full yeah so in a love in a love man should be full should eat so that he is he is energetic and be full what i think about what men need in a relationship or the marriage is a uh, one with honesty should be honest and also they deserve what they need is long term long lasting relationships and as for we young ladies it, it won't be so fair if we be in relationship with more than two people. So we just have to remain faithful for the rest of the period that we are dating. To be too honest for relationship, Zetu, your man someday will make it. Because the reason why I was saying on I think it's because of pressure. We want money and we also want love at the same time. Men also deserve peace of mind. So whenever they get it at any at any time, convenient time for them, 
then I think they can stay in that uh, relationship for a longer duration of time. Mwanaume kando yake natokana aishi vizuri na mke wake, kapendane vizuri, sikutukiana katika maisha ndio ni hivyo hani katika kawili wanapoishi pamoja. Natokana mmoja baada ya mwingine anapokosa mwenzake, wakae pamoja wasuluhishe. Sikujana kelele hivi kila mtu atakapata kunjia vile atakosa. Anapo kuona ndani atapelekana ndani atenda kusuluhisha. Hata watoto pia wasijue kama pale kuna makosa amefanyika. Ile kitu sisi tunapendelea kama wanaume katika ndoa. Tunapenda tu tupate tu mwanamke mwenye anataka yani maisha ajue maisha ni nini. Especially yani tu fanya na vitu tuti vizuri. Uh, ukitoka joko akwambie oh daddy pole kwa joko alafu yani kwa ufupi ajue tu nini anataka katika maisha alafu nyingi sana tupate watu hii katika ndoa the residents of Turkana and Mombasa once again giving us their views on what they think men need and want in a relationship and in a woman when they are looking for someone to date or marry. Allow me to pick it up from where we left. Of course, I'm still with uh, Ian Kaleche and, and John. Um, really, two things that have come out of or across this conversation other than respect is something I've seen about peace. Let me just start with peace briefly. Ian, what is this? You think people are in World War I or II. Why, why is everyone asking for peace? That will be asked mainly by the men. Yeah. Because in some homes, the woman is nagging, nagging, nagging. And the Bible has, at you. And the woman <laughs> has, and the Bible has something about the nagging woman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. It, it's, it's much better for bad things yeah. than to have that have nagging, nagging woman. And a man, a man's home is his castle. Mm. He's been out there working and he's, you don't know what he's, he's gone through. He needs somewhere where he can have peace when he comes home. But if he's coming home to a nagging wife, then obviously he will not come home. So that is important. Mm -hmm. Peace in the house. Nagging, nagging, nagging. And mainly, it's over petty things sometimes. Sometimes. So we need women, mothers, wives, to nag less and know how to talk, how to communicate. I take note of the fact that you're not saying we eliminate nagging completely. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's, it's not going to go away completely. <laughs> it's not. It's not, it's not going to go. It's, it's not, not going possible. to go. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's something like, um, hey, I asked you to take the bin out. You haven't done that. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's, that's okay. It's nagging, yes. But... It's okay. okay. It's Men sometimes need to be told two or three times mm -hmm. using words of three syllables <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or less. The woman needs to be patient. Yeah. Okay? Yes. It's okay. a joke about, I, I told you to take the, you know, I, I said I would do it. You don't yeah. have to keep reminding me every three months. Uh, I'll do it. Yes. Okay. Every three months. Kaleche, <laughs> Kaleche if, if, um, if these things are so simple, because, I mean, from the feedback on social media, from the yeah. box post, from what um, Ian and John are saying, it looks like it's just narrowed to some three things somewhere there around uh, respect, uh, you know, and peace and something else. Yeah. Why is it so hard then to find on this, this few things in you guys? It's not about... Uh, well, I won't say finding it in us guys as the women. Mm -hmm. I'll say it is the lack of communication mm -hmm. and expressing what each of you are looking at as expectations of each, of each other. Because yeah. we all have expectations. When I came to this show in the morning, I had expectations. And mm -hmm. that's just human behavior. Okay. But the fact that we all are holding on to some ka pride, ka ego of I don't want him to think uh, to to ask me, I want him to know. You know that thing Ian said, <laughs> that you think he should know because he said he loves me, he should know. Um, and yet, uh, because men don't think like we do, yeah. they need to be told. Mm -hmm. But in that circumstance where the nagging is an issue, yeah. it's the how you say what you say. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you train yourself to know, understand your man, because your man is not like that every other man. Yeah. He's not like your father, not like your brother. Train yourself to understand yes. what he likes. Okay. Yes. John, lastly, before we move on, the last thing that came out of that, and I think it nearly came out of the issue of respect earlier on, is something that women don't like so much, uh, and it was about submission. 
it's so controversial. Submission. Yeah. And many a times when I interact with a number of women, the question is, whom am I submitting to? Mm -hmm. Can't you just submit and then we'll talk about who? Ah. <laughs> you see, Ian wants to beat me. In the world, a lot of many things is attraction. Mm -hmm. I've got to be in the right mood to do something. Mm -hmm. Now, you don't be so rough on me. You don't disrespect me. Mm -hmm. You don't treat me like I don't belong to that family. Yeah. And you want me to submit. It's difficult. Okay. Mm. Kalecha, is it the word? Because I, I find like so many women, I, th I think for many women, it, it, the problem is the word the itself. The word has been abused. Yes, it is. Yes. The yes, word has, has been abused. Yes, it uh -huh. has. And people have forgotten to understand where the word came from and what its purpose was mm -hmm. for. Mm -hmm. If you go to Ephesians chapter 5, from mm -hmm. verse 21, first of all, it begins by saying, submit to one another. Oh. Nobody ever <laughs> remind. Yeah. There you go. There you go. You should see Victor's face. Oh. Submit to one another. Then it further explains how wives should submit, then how men should submit. The only way I'm losing this conversation is because you know your facts right and you know, but I know that <laughs> verse. There is a certain verse and people should text me this one. I, I think there's a certain verse that says a woman should, uh, is it the wife should submit? It is there. The is that yeah, Ephesians it is from chapter but 21 no one to yes. 20. We don't talk about the other okay. part about Man each has other. highlighted the, the, <laughs> the woman, one for the woman. Yes. And, <laughs> and they the stuck there. Submission has become something completely different. Yeah. You find you find men who who tease who who tease um, Ugandan women because how of how they serve mm -hmm. their men, you know, going right down and kneeling and whatever. isn't that sweet? Though? That's tradition. <laughs> Why are you saying that that is what every woman what has everyone to do. has to do? Mm -hmm. And then there is submission where, you know, you you're you're treating your wife like you would treat the maid. You come in, and let her chai. I mean, come like on. Do you not love? Come That's on. not love. You're commanded to mm -hmm. love. Mm -hmm. yes. So when you, when you command somebody as if but they are... But you, you shouldn't even be asking. As soon <laughs> as you come in, <laughs> if she, she knows you've been out there... I will yeah. bring. She will Relax. bring. Okay. Just sit. Okay. Just relax. So many women are actually the and they don't even they don't even have names. No. Oh, yeah. our... <laughs> <laughs> the name has disappeared. <laughs> yeah. That's the other thing about men who forget their wives' names once yeah. they get married. Yeah. <laughs> this is my Kerea. This is my Nani. Oria. Oria. Mama Watoto. Yes. It's she has a name. Mama Wakwangu. Forgetting, Mama Wakwangu actually forgetting to love. Uh -huh. we, that's it. Forgetting to love. Because uh, let's you're commanded to love that is part of your submission <laughs> good people my time is running out now that we have we have all these problems i think they all begin at one point at that point of choosing who you're going to spend the rest of your life with mm. because as you said earlier on if you begin with someone you're not on the same level on the same wavelength so now let's start here how do i as a man a young man for that matter um identify the right person for me. Maybe let me start with you, John. Good. And uh, that is very, very important because some of the things that we are seeing is a result of how it all started. By the time it is starting, one thing that we must be cognizant of is that I'm doing it for life. Mm. I am aware, and even by the time I go to the vows, that it is for better. Better for worse. worse. Until death. death do us apart. So, in my mind, what is it that I'm looking for in marriage? Am I looking for beauty? Wrong. Because that beauty may not be there for long. Suppose she goes and applies some of these creams, Munaek, and then it reacts with the skin and Come whatever. On. What will happen? Mm -hmm. I have lost her. Mm -hmm. Am I going for the shape? That shape will change. Mm, definitely. It is a wholesome. But it's not bad to... Correct. It is not bad for the shape. Mm -hmm. It is... What I'm saying is, it is... Time. There are a number of aspects that you look at. Yeah. First, those physical will like, help you to identify because that's your... your, your that's what is attracting yes. you. Yes. Mm -hmm. But other than that attraction, then you go now ahead kind of like, I am taking her to be my wife for life. What are the challenges? Learn also from the others. Mm -hmm. Why are there divorces? Why are people divorcing? What is happening? Then you ask yourself, 
it is likely to happen to me. How can I know or how can I prevent this? Engage her at that stage, at the courting mm -hmm. stage. That's why people should court. Courting does not mean you go sleeping around. Exactly. That's what Please. we are messing up in. <laughs> Please. You can court and you disagree and leave each other in peace and respect each other to mm -hmm. even support one another even yeah. later yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So when you are courting, you are trying to find out, can we live together? What aspects are there? Bring up, as the man, and I will challenge the men, it is your responsibility to take leadership even from that stage. Yes. Bring up the areas that you know will bring issues at a later stage. Must have conversations. True. Yes. yes. True, true. Absolutely. Openly and candid. By the way, that time you are not married. So, iwe mbaya, iwe mzuri, mnawachana. So you're handling it at the right time. Mm -hmm. So you discuss it. Let us speak out. And many a times I tell the young ones when I'm talking to them, don't even ask directly. Just go, if I'm quoting Kaleche, I'll tell her, hey, squeeze the watu wana kosana, because guys are just moving out or guys are not providing. You trigger. Now, I have not directly <laughs> talked about us, uh -huh. but I've triggered, and she is going to speak, speaking her mind Openly. out. Uh -huh. Then I will know, oh, kumbe, kumbe. uyu ni kioa <laughs> line yake ni hii. And like he and said, don't expect to change anyone no, no. Yeah, no. men or women marriage. alike, it no, will no, change. No. It will not change. Lakini no. see, I mean, at least it was sad. No, no, let me, uh, let me even add to what, what uh, John is saying. You see, the, the, the fact that we are not doing the right data collection is where we are stuck during that dating period. And what ah, a lot the of The last women, time you were here, you told us dating yeah, told is data collection. It's data collection. Okay. The, the, the issue that you find is that a lot of men don't want to open up. Mm. So they want to sit there and look at your pretty face, right. hear what you have to say. <laughs> yes, it is true, a man should listen. But they never ask the right questions themselves for their own future and their mm -hmm. benefit of understanding. Is this the ideal person for me, right? Beauty aside, shape aside, it's great. But if her values align with my values, then her shape, whether it changes or not, will never bother me. Mm -hmm. Because her value, which is going to win your heart, mm -hmm. Is what matters. But what wins my heart is how beautiful. Yeah, she that is where you need to go back to that school. That is selfish. Yeah, man that, that's very and okay. Men are visual. Men are very visual. Mm, okay? Which is okay. She passes a beauty. A beauty passes. Everyone just well, turns well. and yeah. checks. And we forget yeah. if we were talking about the constitution. But, yes, <laughs> but that that is not all. Okay, she will not always be that beautiful. That's right. The sex will not always be as great as it is. Okay. Her body will not always be like that. There is a lot more. There is a lot more that goes into it. What is between her ears? Mm. Can you hold a conversation with her? Can, can, you, can you debate? Mm. Because once you start debating, not saying arguing, what are her views on certain things? And then you know that this is someone that you can settle down with. Okay. But there are men who will just say, ah, as long as she's beautiful and the sex is great. I can hear box. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bus. That's where you go like wrong. In, 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 I mean, if I can speak on behalf of the men. So sometimes you, someone, I mean, you agree on most of the basics, yeah? But there's that one uncomfortable thing, like if I die, would you, you know, something that you know could spook her and you, you're so afraid of, ay, sasa ni kiuliza isi wali tutawachana. Ask the question. Ask. The, the, the problem I see with young people today is that you're dating in fear of losing because nobody taught you that losing is okay and you will it's not die. It's part of life. You will not die. Mm -hmm. If today that beautiful girl tells you something that you cannot live with, you compromise yourself because of her beauty, not thinking about, Inyewe, how will I live with But this? maybe she's the one for me. This how is, is what she the one, one for you? What, what made you decide she's the one for you? The beauty, the right? The beauty? <laughs> And no. Now, don't get co confused about that beauty. Yeah. There's makeup that t turns. <laughs> <laughs> and when the makeup is off, you're like, who is once, this? Once that wig is off, mm -hmm. the fake eyelashes are off, yeah. and everything, that is something completely different. Right. Eh? All the cream has been taken and off. And you met in the evening. Eh? You met in the evening <laughs> in the, with the disco lights. She was something else. Mm -hmm. no. Beauty. Beauty only comes in, we start with the physical. Yeah. But it is enriched by what is in the heart. In the mind. It is enriched by what is in the mind. 
and how you progress on. Okay. That's where we are going it wrong. Mm. Yes. Don't be like this guy I know who secures a lady, marries her for beauty. To secure her so that nobody else now <laughs> will go with that beauty. Yani ni one kanange kwa kipita hivi, uyo nuwa kanyoni. Uyo nuwa. See, that's selfish. Like that's selfish. It. She doesn't even have to open her mouth. Mm -hmm. We have Whether argued, she has we have not. argued in the morning, mm -hmm. we have quarreled. By the time I'm leaving home, mm -hmm. oh my, I'm feeling like I don't want to come back there again. Mm -hmm. That's why people will be looking at, what is she looking for? Because they are yes. wondering, because they are also looking at the beauty. Okay, now, so, Kaleche, can what? I get everything I want in you? No, it's <laughs> not, can I get everything I want in you? Absolutely, Absolutely not. not, because we It depends are not... on what you want. <laughs> <laughs> that is why you need to discuss it at that stage. <laughs> See now don't, where you are. Yeah. Maybe don't just yeah. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Are you sure you want to open that? No, no, no. Let's not anyway, but let me just say this. Um, we are not ideal beings because we were not created perfect. The only yes. perfect being, person that lived as a human being is Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Every one of us has flaws. The question is, can you live with my flaws? Mm -hmm. Can I live with your flaws? Um, am I going to have moments where I say, this guy is driving me mad, but I love him. And, I'm, and I'll be okay. Mm -hmm. And I'll be like, I just need five minutes away from him because otherwise I'm going Plus, to be in jail. Yes, 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 and yes. then I'll be back and everything will be fine because I can deal with that. And mm -hmm. I understand that that is his flaw or his, his level of madness. And I can deal with it. We are not perfect. We, we, nobody is. The question is, find the one who has the level of madness and perfect that you can live yes. with. Mm -hmm. And that comes from understanding your values and what matters to you. Out of 10, John, kama tuna vitu tano tunaelewana, is that okay? Ama lazima nifike 8? Okay, you, you'll need to, it doesn't have to be 8. It doesn't mm -hmm. have to be all 8. Mm -hmm. It is a give and take. Mm -hmm. You have to look at where am I going to compromise. Mm -hmm. There are some that are too sensitive. Mm -hmm. Or to can't. compromise. Yes. Non-negotiable. There are some that are too sensitive that you'll say, he, mm -hmm. no. Like women would say, kama umu tu ana pesa ana. That's wrong. No, that, that's that's wrong. wrong. That's wrong. He, <laughs> he could have a lot of potential. A woman can see a man who's got a lot of potential mm -hmm. and say, this one, he may be a broke toot, but yes. I know, I know. <laughs> I can see if something. If he gets yes. money, he would look I can better. See yes, yes, no, yes. no, no, I can see something. Yeah. Potential. And get, remember this. A woman was created with wisdom. Okay? That is a <laughs> gift we were given. The wisdom of, of foresight. That's okay, yeah, no, yes? No, no, no. What no, are you saying? It is, it is a gift it is that true. God gave us. The wisdom to see. When I look at Victor, I can see the kind of, uh, let's say, broadcaster he's going to be from here to the future. His future looks like. I, I thank can God see. the camera is not focusing on me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Women's <laughs> intuition, that gut that feeling. We have yes. Yes. Go it for is, it. It is yes. a gift. Okay, yes. I can see that. But to say that oh, because he ha he doesn't have money, he is not. Yeah is short-sighted and ladies yeah. hear me right when i say this because guess what even as a woman who's worked and gotten the money i have also lost it then what right so he will lose he will gain he will go that is not a standard by which you can gauge whether this is a suitable partner what does he believe um like uh john has said about divorce what does he believe about uh after after he dies what will happen to me will he expect that his brother should marry me and that is mm -hmm. final mm -hmm. you know there are things that matter more yeah how will our children be brought up where will they go to school what kind of things do we want to instill how many children? how many children yes. you know there are more important things but you have to think of it wholesomely okay. and remove self is it because is this the reason why i mean i was at um, our church in mamlaka hill chapel some time back and, uh, and they said that there are people we gather around 30 couples who want to get married and then they take them through the, the lessons and Endure. so many questions, very Endure. hard questions that mm. are actually asked in there. And by the time you're ready to get married, you realize the numbers drop to 17. Yes, you can't oh, see yes. That yes, yes, that happens. That happens. And it because is what they're going in with very high expectations. Mm -hmm. And then when they start finding out what each other is and start questioning each other and then they realize actually I can't live uh, with this. I can't. And that's it's better to do it that way. Yeah. It's better to split to go your ways there earlier yeah. than later on. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yes. And preferably at that stage because this is what we say. If you can avoid sex when you are courting. Yeah. yeah. It's be biblical. Yes. It is only allowed in the presence of marriage. But it has one effect that I tell <coughs> young people. 
uh, it is easier to break up when you have not connected sexually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is easier. So when you are courting and you have found a lady and you are trying to work together with, if you can agree, let's first of all work on. Yeah. Yeah. That's That's the point. Point. <laughs> Let me tell you, Victor, and yeah. we have done this a bit of, I'll call it research, yeah. but it's their findings. Yeah. People who have gone through the right steps in courtship, in marriage, if I'm not the best for you, then I'll look for somebody else and whatever. People who have had take, taken time to prepare themselves for marriage, they are lasting, they are bearing one another, the challenges are there, yes. Yeah. But people who are hoping into marriage, mm. by hoping I'm meaning we have met whatever circumstances, three, four, five months, we are calling our friends, we are doing a big wedding mm. because it is prestigious, what have you. Yes. After you marry, you realize she's not my type. Yeah. He's not my type. Mm -hmm. That's why we are having the divorces. Yeah. Most, couples, couples, are most couples today are more interested in the kind of wedding yeah. they will have. Not the yes. marriage. They put in so much time into the wedding, not the marriage. Not the person they're going to marry. Not, not the, the marriage. marriage. Not the marriage. You, you'd rather just go to AG and then have a long marriage yeah. than have the hugest wedding of the year. And within, it's not even a month. Uh, no, sorry, it's not even a year. Yeah. You are, you've already gone your ways. Why yeah. would people be divorcing in a year? <laughs> In they, the first place. They were not right for they each other. They were not right for Straight each away. Other. They were and not And they were right. not ready. Yeah. They were not They're ready. They were just not ready. But how long am I going right. to become DCI and investigate uh, you? Huh? You it's, should it's, have you investigated should have that before you got into that, that relationship. data collection that you are feeling lazy to do will save you so there are people, much. How do I investigate most of these things without ask looking like the DCI? the right ask, questions. Ask and ask the right people. And also, stop. I mean, gentlemen, sometimes because you, 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 you think it's hard work, you don't want to do it. Yeah. I mean, let's be honest, a lot of guys are lazy when it comes to that part. <laughs> it's lazy. You don't want to ask because you're so mesmerized by the beauty. Ask ah. the Lord to give you the wisdom to stop <laughs> yeah. seeing mm -hmm. what, is Beyond. Uh -huh. what is in front of in you. Front of you. <laughs> <laughs> I pray for wisdom. I ask pray the me. Lord to give <laughs> you wisdom. Ooh, please. Good people, we cannot exhaust this conversation. It has to continue elsewhere, offline, online, even after we go, uh, we finish this conversation. It has to continue even right here in the studio and among my colleagues. But I'll give each one of you um, 30 seconds each to give us your last um, words. I'll start with you, John. Prepare for marriage. If we are talking about marriage, prepare for it. Get involved. Yeah. Whatever it takes, however bad it's going to be, discuss it, prepare for it, inquire, get everything that is required for you to know who is it that you are marrying and why you are marrying. Why are you marrying? Don't do it because people are doing it. Why are you marrying? Then you come now to, why am I marrying this one and not the other one? By the way, there will be so many who will be crying for you to marry them. Mm -hmm. Some of them even threaten to commit suicide if you don't. Mm -hmm. yes. So why particularly this one? Take your time. Take your time. Don't rush into it. It's a lifetime but thing. But my, my friends are getting married everywhere. It's yeah. a lifetime commitment. Your friends are getting married. My they are, aunt they is not asking me, I would get Forget about your auntie and mm. your grandmother your pushing you. Yeah. It is your life. Yeah. It is your life. Take your time. Okay. Thank you, John. Kalechi. I think um, that process of data collection is very important. Yeah. Be open. Ask the right questions. And just remember, when your mother used to ask you about your friends, who are they, where do they come from, what do they do? She was not mad. I thought she was at the time, but she was not mad. It is because I use those same skills today. Secondly, remember, respect is an ATM. You only withdraw what you deposited. That's it. Respect is an ATM. You can only withdraw wow. what you deposited. Well if you didn't put anything in there, don't expect anything out. Okay. Simple. And I have learned something new. Respect yeah. is an ATM. Yes. Mm. Okay. Ian. Take time to learn the person you are dating. Take time. Ask the hard questions. Meet the family and just get to know them. And once you decide that this is the person you want to spend the rest of your life with, then you need, you need to be there for the long haul. It is still death do you part. There are going to be problems, but if you are 
able to discuss. If you have proper communication, you'll be, you'll be able to overcome anything. The only thing I tell people not to, to, to get out is if there is violence. Yeah. If there is violence in that house, if you're the man being beaten, get out. But if your mom the, will tell you to uh, fight for uh, your uh, relationship. Uh, 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 no. Maybe. Is it your mom coming to be beaten there? Yeah, no. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. If you're the man being beaten, get out. If you're the woman being beaten, get out. Forget going to the church that will tell you, oh, stay, oh, pray. Mm -hmm. No. You will die. Get out. Because that same church will hold your funeral service. Yes. Right. And women, you need to also stop nagging. And don't, <laughs> don't look at the bad the man is doing. When he does something nice, yeah. compliment yeah. him. Yeah. No yeah. matter how small. Mm -hmm. You brought a kilo of meat. Thank you. I know you had seven in the bar. <laughs> but umeleta hii. Umeleta hii. Okay. That's okay. I have to leave it there. <laughs> very, very interesting conversation. Ian almost began a whole new conversation <laughs> yes. just at the end of it. But, of course, many thanks to our guests this morning. We've been talking about men and relationships and marriages and just what do men really want in partners. And I think, um, I hope this conversation has really, of course, helped you uh, if you, uh, I mean, one of those men or women who are wondering what do men really want and um, I think each one of them is actually doing a very brilliant job on a, a job on a personal level. Um, Ian, if anyone is interested in being a musician and being your student, where can they find it? I teach at Brookhouse mm -hmm. but you can also get me on all the social media platforms. It's Ian Bogua. Okay. Kalecha, I'm a huge fan of your social media platforms, I'll not mention it on air, but yeah, yeah just, just tell us. Um, so if you're looking for me uh, on social media, at Kalecha Mumo, on all of them, and I do a show where I talk about relationships and our responsibility as individuals in those relationships on KM Radio, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 6 to 8 on uh, Instagram. All right. John, for anyone who's interested in Man Enough and anything else you're doing. Man Enough through Transform Nations, we are in South Sea. Uh, we normally... Every time the program is starting up, we normally start it up. Uh, Transform Nations. Ma, for me, personally, is uh, social media is Kanyoni J or John Kanyoni. And that involved. And from church, deliver a church Kasarani. Let's meet there. Let's right. connect through there. Right. And we do what we are supposed to do as men. All right. And I'm always here at 7 to, <laughs> to, <laughs> to 9 a.m. every day to bring you yet amazing conversation such as this one. Tomorrow from 7 to 9, we'll have much more similar and in engaging conversations. Many thanks to Ian Bogwa, he's a teacher and an artist. Kaleche Momo, the CEO of KM Network, and John Kanyuni, a masculinity mentor. That's where we leave it this morning. My name is Victor Kiprop. Goodbye and God bless.